Good evening. Here it is. It's the remake of Resident Evil 4. Been waiting for this for a long time. Let's get into it. For our first run through, we're just going to play on standard. September 30th, 1998. It's a day I'll never forget. The cop inside me died that day. And that night, Raccoon City was wiped out, thanks to the bioweapons created by Umbrella. Somehow I made it out, but too many others weren't so lucky. I was asked later to join a top secret government program. Not that I had a choice training punishing missions nearly killed me but at least I kept my mind off everything if I could just forget what happened that night the pain even for a second this time it can be different it has to So tell me, Yankee, why did you come to this horrible place? As close to nowhere that I've ever seen. Let's just say, looking for someone. That someone must be very important, huh? The chief gave the orders himself. Help him, he said. I'm sure your boys didn't come all the way out here to roast marshmallows. <laughs> Maybe you did. You have a strange sense of humor. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret, just between us. A lot of people have gone missing around here, and it's been that way for a while now. Well then, should be just another day in the office, right? Mm. I mean, last week there was a search for some missing hikers. I'm sure you'll do your best to help me. <laughs> Your goals, huh? I'll be right back. Qué frío. ¿Te has bebido el bar entero? You smoke? He sure is taking his time. Did he fall in? Maybe you better go and take a look. Well, what's the car? Wouldn't want to get a parking ticket. So much for helping me. So here we are, Resident Evil 4 the remake. So a few things. Hopefully you would have watched the channel already and seen that I did do a full playthrough on the original Resident Evil 4 that just finished on Sunday Gone. 
I'm not looking to do any sort of challenges or trophies in this run specifically. I have had a very quick look at the trophy guide, but not in depth. Now, ideally, obviously, I would like to unlock all trophies, etc. That's going to be some doing by the look of the uh, some of the achievements. But I just thought I want to get the first playthrough out of the way. Not out of the way, but, you know, like, enjoy it. Not worry too much about unlocking stuff, etc. I know this game is going to have a lot of replayability. And I have already played the demo, which is on the channel as well. So pretty familiar with this section. I do love that in, in the very early part of the game they already touch on Leon's combat skills. Um, it's obviously a massive part of the original Resident Evil 4. The context sen sensitive kicks and suplexes and things like that you can do. Nice, very nice. Nice tasty meal there. Yeah, but I think it's a great, a great homage to that part of the game. I love the lighting as well. It's very creepy. It feels very claustrophobic. So getting into the first part of the action. What was that? And the shooting definitely feels very different, just based off the demo. No fucking right. way. Let me try something. What I was trying didn't work. <laughs> so in the old game, you can shoot out the legs and uh, it makes them collapse. Now that may still be applicable, but maybe it's not as common. Good old green herb. Bruce, 
This is Condor One. Hunnigan here. What's your sit rep? The president's daughter, Baby Eagle. It's likely she's in this village. Really love that they've kept Hunnigan in as well, but the cutscenes well are slightly different. You actually see it from her Location perspective, all on just through the uh, the comms unit. Copy that. I'll see what I can find. Hurry up. Something's happened to the people here. My escorts are. Here's Johnny. Pull myself out. This game looks stunning. So you can shoot the crows. Oh, there's a ruby. Now that's going to be worth a fair bit of money. And there's been some talk about these boxes being coloured yellow to be obvious. I like it. And I think a lot of people agree that with the increase in the game, game graphics, it was very obvious in the original Resident Evil 4 which boxes you could destroy because they were colored very differently and there was not a lot of detailing around there wasn't a lot of objects that you couldn't break whereas this game has got a lot more around as you can see um i just think it's gameplay wise it's better that way that you can see it and you're not going around hunting and trying to smash every single box and only like 10 percent of them are breakable i think it's really useful and we get ourselves to our first save point so gunpowder again, you, it's got crafting, which is um, very similar to the, the remakes, uh, Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3. It's even got the original music, although slightly changed, but it's got very similar sound. And what you can also do in the typewriter room is any storage you can swap around. Obviously, we don't have any of that at the moment because it's a brand new game. That's a really nice idea in t instead of having to sell items all of the time you can drop them in here and there are going to be different cases so currently we've got the silver case which apparently has an increased drop rate for hangar ammo that is the traditional case that's interesting to know it looks like there's going to be five attache cases assuming you can fill them all up and there's also charms i don't know how that's going to work it says zero out of 30 how you unlock them and what they actually do how many you can equip at once is it just one i don't know we'll have to wait and see now one thing i'm curious about is whether the old trick of not reloading your weapons so you're not at full capacity going to the merchant and then increasing the uh, capacity you get free bullets i wonder if that'll stay we'll have to wait and see and whether the merchant's even going to be in the same place because it's a fair way off if it is so we'll have to watch here i think i will reload here I'm gonna need it i'm gonna try a few things out it may not work dead <laughs> interesting did he drop something and then i didn't get it or did i pick it up i'm not sure i've lost a fair bit of health still in the green i think that looks like okay we're gonna draw him out come on out you come. Nice, got a flash grenade and we also got yeah. some of him. And it's got this quick menu, which is interesting. I do like that.
so how are we going to do this bit? Yes, yeah, so I've got the map. Oh, it even tells you the value on here. Don't think it used to do that. That's good. And of course, you can craft things. You can also set different items to different um, buttons. And again, you can move these around, which I will do at a later stage. I think for now, we are going to go this way. Now, question is, do we potentially just want to force the start of the battle, which I think we do, and try and survive? I think that's what we're going to do. Need a key for that. Let's do it. Here we go. This is scary, though. Very similar to the original, and obviously, if you saw my demo video, you'd have seen this before. Change all. Right, first of all, quickly smash these. Probably gonna need that handgun ammo. We're also gonna need the shotgun. Love the shotgun. Feels great in the uh, in the demo. Let's see you climb this. Now normally I would go in there, but it's slightly different, so I think what I wanna do is oh shoot. Damn that was uh that was a little bit too close. Why do I always panic? Damn the punch now. Was sneaky of him. Come on. Of that egg as well. I'll drop them quite a few eggs. Whoa! Right, we need the ladders. Oh shit, there's a guy up the ladders. <laughs> right, quickly. And jump off. Again, I don't know fully if. Um, if this time constraint. Oh crap. Damn they are at. Oh, sorry. Jump. Right, get this chicken egg. Yeah. Get another chicken egg. Right, reload. Yeah, this is not the best one so far, but... It's close. Um, there we go. So we just have to wait it out. Huh? Definitely seems tougher than the original.
wait for it. Where's everyone going? Bingo? And there it is. So what we'll probably do is we'll scout around the village, get any items that we didn't collect before, and I'll show anything significant. Bruce Seconder 1, I've identified a route to the lake. Look for a large windmill. There's a path on the far side of it. Windmill. Copy that. And be careful. Bruce out. Well, that was new. Just stumbled upon this cow which ran on me. I think it was in this uh, barn before. Not having the best of days. And this is the hole we've got. We've got a fair bit of ammo. We've got three grenades now. I've picked up a couple of eggs. I've used one of them just to increase my health a little bit. It was a little bit low. And we've got a couple of rubies and a velvet blue. And it looks like this is the, uh, the next stage to go through. Got no idea what's coming next because this is post-demo. There it is. That was the windmill we were told to go to. And another save. So let's see what's in here. Nice resources. That's the craft, I'll quickly show you. So you can either craft directly within the attacher case or there's a crafting section. I need 12 gunpowder plus one resource to make shotgun ammo, or I can make handgun ammo now, but I'm not sure which is gonna be more beneficial because that's only three shotgun, no, sorry, that's six shotgun shells. Um, we might leave it for a bit longer. Interestingly, just looking at the storage, you can only store certain things. So weapons, for example, you can store like these. You can store a first aid spray, but by the looks of it, nothing else, as in, you know, like health items, grenades, etc. So, one thing to keep in mind for. And already I can see there's a guy over here. Ah, so this is the farm place. So again, it is following on. It just looks very different. Ah, now what is that? Pearl pennant, okay. They've still got the blue things. The uh, collectible, well, you don't collect it, but. It's that chicken chasing me again. I swear in the demo it attacked me. Where are you? Right. Ooh. Nice. That was very nice. So you can take on tasks by collecting the blues request notes posted around different areas. View the requests you've taken in the file menu. Okay. Will somebody please get rid of the blue medallions? Those religious lunatics left hanging around. Destroy all the blue medallions in the form, and you get three spinels or spinels. One out of five I have got. Interesting. So it's slightly different than the original. Got one here. Like I said, I'm not going to go for a full collectible run or anything like that this time. I haven't got a key for that. But if there's anything we can immediately get, we'll definitely do it. Three. Four. And five. Nice. Won't open. That's locked. If I really want to get in there. <laughs> uh huh. Definitely don't want to walk into that. Uh, 
Gotta fix everything myself. Don't like the sound of that. Gonna be honest. Change to shotgun, which I haven't reloaded. Damn. Whew. Um. Ah, got a yellow herb. That's good. There we go. It's increased my maximum. I like the change up. That was uh That was scary, that guy with the uh the hammer. Jeez. Kitchen knife, okay. Wooden cog, I need that for the sort of puzzle upstairs. I think Yeah, it's gonna be similar to the original this bit here. Is this the secret place? No, that's not a secret place. Let's figure this out. This door here, there we go. Jump down here. Flagon. Nice. Combining treasures. So can we combine this with, for example, oh, we can. Oh, I like that. Oh, and you can combine it with different treasures to give it two gemstones of the same color, 1.2. Oh, that's really nice. That's a really nice difference. So yeah, I probably got, with this, there's only two gemstone slots, so having two of the same colors, the best I can do with this, so that's fine. Now we're back up top, so if I put the cog on here, and then pull this. Right, that one was the gate downstairs. I like it, they've changed it up. It's still the form, but it's got a very different layout. It's got a different sort of little mini boss. I say little mini boss. Big beefy mini boss. And there we go. Now I wonder if this is gonna be that house. Okay. Now Map wise, yes, I can go that way, but I want to go in the house first, okay. If we can. We can't anyway, it's locked. That potentially might be one for when we get Ashley. Also, I will be saving a lot, obviously off camera, but I'm not going to be stingy on saves. I think I haven't looked properly at the achievements, but the, there might be an achievement where you only save so many times. I don't know. Jeez. Oh, give me a break. Didn't expect that, so I did well to evade. And now I can't get past her. Ah, there's a route to the right. Get it. Uh, 
Ah, okay. So I think, if you remember, if you played the original. Now, if you see any little flashing lights on the bottom of the screen, there is a known issue with the game. This is on day one of the game being released, and they have released a statement saying that you might see some flashing images at the bottom, and I can see them now, so apologies for that, but not too much I can do at the moment. Yeah, this is uh, this is in the original as well. Like I say, it looks different. It's that grenade guy. It was nice. Bear traps. Damn. Have they taken the damage off bear traps? Damn, I didn't see him. I heard him, but I was, couldn't think where they were. They keep I need to just get back to heal. Damn. Go about the reload. I did turn auto reload off for a reason. I think I might turn that back on by the looks of it. I was hoping they were going to blow that up. Is this guy? He's there, man. Next. key for that one and there's the river the lake rather this the place I think it is there's a lot of keys we don't have yet okay let's avoid that Well, that's creepy. What's that noise? I think they did that on purpose. So, oh, hang on. 
in the original. Let me get this first. In the original, you heard banging and you thought it was going to be an enemy, and it wasn't. Um. Oh dear. Is nailed on from the original. Oh no. Who are you? Just stop right there. And as you can see on the chapter end just give you a fairly more detailed breakdown so how many enemies you kill deaths accuracy times damage 20 times damage that's a hell of a lot but yeah really interesting to see that it's just getting used to the game i'm not going to be perfect at it in this playthrough the combat's a lot heavier the enemies are harder we are probably going to take more damage just whilst we get used to it sacrificial lamb you will receive our most sacred body it begins now. <sighs> oh, what the fuck? Hey, stop it. Hey, Yankee. Got your name? Leon. Quiet, I think. I'm Luis Serra. Guess you, me. The wrong spot to vacation, eh? Hey, stop it. You move, I move. And I'm beat up in other cities. I can see you're thinking. Bet you've been in spots like this before, huh? I guess. You're here looking for someone. That'll be right. One more guess. Maybe. Some missing senorita? Daphne? Young girl. Talk. Now. Great. See, si. her chatter about moving, senorita. Moving her. Where? Who knows? But later. Saw some men dragging someone <laughs> to the old church. <laughs> ah, hanging with you. Not healthy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is his head going to pop off? Not quite, but a neck snap. Look at his jacket. That is snazzy. Hey, we're not done here. Later, amigo. Oh damn, I've got no equipment. Condor one to roost. I've located Baby Eagle. It sounds like she's being kept in some church. Great. That's good news. I heard it from this guy I met. He said his name is Luis Serra. There's something fishy about him. I need you to run a background check. We'll call Condor one. I'll see what I can find. In the meantime your way to that church right i'm probably due for confession anyway condor one out again cheesy lines new cheesy lines great it's given me a knife which means i'm gonna have to battle whatever's coming up next with just that. I'll clearly get my equipment back at some stage.
Yes, we will do that. Yoink. Hey, that's my gear. Nice. <laughs> uh, again, another place that was in the original, but couldn't uh oh. You can parry. Okay. When the prompt appears in the bottom right. Okay. Damn, that was kind of lucky timing. I, well, I'd say lucky I timed it right, but... I... Crap. There we go, got all my stuff back. Whew. I think I can see one of our favourite friends. Over here, stranger. <laughs> Let's do some business then, eh? Get rid of the rats. Exterminate all the rats in the band factory. Get three spin elves. Okay. So, merchant tip get rich quick. Do you know that you can trade the spinels you receive as a reward for valuable goods? I've got loads of useful items, but I recommend you pick up a treasure map the most. These deals can hide. Very similar to the original, obviously. You can pick up treasure maps. They cost you money, but they can gain you money as well. Three spinels. Very nice. I've got something new for you. Trade items. Oh, my back is killing me. Years haven't been kind to us. Punisher, a handgun that retains excellent penetration power and low recoil. Laser sight. Oh, so these are, let me just think. Bolt thrower. We always have to upgrade the case, so we're definitely going to do that. A bit more space, never hurt anyone. Perfect size for you, stranger. I recognize his voice and I can't think what it is. Oh, it's like a silenced... Bolts can be retrieved and reused. That sounds very good. And then if I got the recipe for bolts as well. Brilliant. Haven't got enough space for the M1903. I think I can sell keys that I've used before without any negative effect. Well, well. I can certainly do something with this. I can sell the pill pendant. A deal well struck. <laughs> I've already fully upgraded that so I can sell that. I think I can sell Velvet Brew without any consequence. Rubies we want to keep though. Yeah, for selling only, that's good, so it tells you. A deal well struck. <laughs> okay, so. Ah, uh, right, I got you. So the requests, you get spinels which are you can't sell. What they've done instead is you can only buy these specific things with spinels, so you have to pretty much do the tasks. That's really clever. I like that. I was going to make it more difficult. And the Punisher that you used to get for free by doing the medallions, where I think if you did 7 or 8 out of the 15, you'd get the Punisher. If you did all 15, it was slightly upgraded when you got it for free. Now it's just part of the tasks where if you've got 5 spinels, you can purchase it. Or you can get a yellow herb, yellow diamond, which you can then insert to treasures. Yeah, I really like this. I'm definitely thinking of getting the bolt for Let me just have a think and, and have a look at my case. I'm definitely going to repair the knife. Or you can increase the power as well. Ooh, durability. Yeah, I want the durability. Try that on for size. Probably the power as well. We're starting to get an idea of your tastes, friend. I really want to buy the bolt thrower. Not only will you need cash, but you will need guts to buy that weapon. And what I'll also do is buy the recipe for the bolts. It's also got an auto sort mod, so if you, for example, 
move stuff around like you can do normally, which I love doing. So I find it very therapeutic. You can auto sort it, which is good, but I'll probably still move it around myself at some stage as well. So this is the combat knife you keep and you can upgrade and you've got temporary knives as well. Let's just have a look at the crafting for the bolts. What do we need? So bolts times four, one knife and one of a certain type of resource. Not 100% sure what the difference between bolt times four and bolt times three plus is. I don't know if one's more powerful, maybe. We'll have to wait and see. But that's the end of today's episode, guys. The Resident Evil 4 remake. Absolutely loving it so far. I'm taking my time in certain sections, so you'll have to bear with me. I'm just trying to get used to it. I'm so familiar with the old game that it's probably harder in a way because I'm trying to get used to it not being the same route, the same layout, the same enemies, the same weapons. But I'm absolutely loving with the changes they've made so far. I would say it's a lot more difficult combat wise and I'm still getting used to the parry and then sort of evading enemies. Love that, uh, I don't know what the enemy was called but the one with a massive hammer. He was a really impressive, very difficult opponent. Really interested to see what other changes they made to like the boss battles that are coming up. The giant fish that I forgot the name of, that, that's in the water, that should be coming up soon. I don't know if that's in the game or if it is, how it will play out compared to the original. But this series is going to run every Sunday at 8pm, so join us next time, same time, same place, it'll be a YouTube premiere again. Thank you very much for joining, hit that like button, drop a comment and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all soon. Cheers.